Black who bites an opal mine at poker, that rates respect. If only he'd been a little quicker on the draw. Poor cat. Where he really got unlucky was being dealt all four aces like that. Shame. So long, Pat. Our opals are waiting. Right, and it's a long way to call mine. Made it. We're on the Aboriginal Reserve. We'll be at the cave by sundown. You think this is clever? I don't like these native blokes and their magic tricks. You're joking. They don't know magic any more than I do. It's creepy. What do you expect? The bleeding caper cabana? Come on. Hey, nasty. Hang on. Look at the quality of them opals. Old Pat wasn't joking. Now all we gotta do is find our way to Calamine. The natives must know the way. Oh, brilliant. You just gotta ask and they'll all line up to point the way, right? Hey! Aborigines! No kidding. Well, they'll just stand there and do something. <laughs> That's what I call a boomerang effect. Let's go. I've got the opals. <laughs> Hey, these guys are good. Hey! Good grief. Did I hear a motor? Huh? No, just the usual tranquil Australian night. A dream, no doubt. Invite you to join me, Calamine, Australia. Stop. On point of discovering priceless treasure. Stop. Signed your devoted friend, Count Champignac. Really, Spiru? That's the tenth time you've read that telegram. I'm trying to figure this out, Fantasio. The Count on a treasure hunt? It's not like him. Ah, but that's exactly what makes it a great story. Just think. A Fantasio exclusive from the land of golden opals. Except that there isn't an ounce of gold left at Calamine. And you know that it's just a... Yes, yes, I know. A spooky ghost town left over from the gold rush days. And a ghost town that the Aborigines claim because it lies on sacred ground. Sounds pretty good, huh, Spin? <coughs> Listen, old buddy. When it comes to snooping out a scoop... Well, I don't want to rain on your parade, but all I'm hoping is that the Count isn't in any danger. Well, bless my whiskers. We've arrived, Archimedes. What an enchanting spot. We'll even have company. Those are termite mounds. And I will at last be able to treat this troublesome corn on my foot. Come on, forward, Archimedes. Would you wait here a moment, Archimedes? I want to make sure there's room at the inn. Hmm. Drat! What's that old gaper doing round here? Good grief! What have we here? How charming! A magnificent specimen of Macropus virtuoso! Shike a leg, Sam. We got competition. What? A pinch of Epsom salts? Splendid! Ha! Nothing more refreshing than a fizzy foot bath. <laughs> this seems solid enough. <laughs> Get out, goats mounted on a spring. <laughs> Hang on, I just fired a warning shot. Champignac, old boy, forget this scoundrel of a call on your foot. Back to work. Time is precious. Good luck. Good luck. Take care. Thank, Thank you. you. Ah, Australia, land of adventure. Fantasio salutes you. <laughs> Which reminds me, I have to buy a few postcards. That picturesque gift shop should do the trick. Come on, Spit. Let's go. You're going on a tour of the outback. <laughs> Good day, mates. Oops. Looks like business has been slow lately. <laughs> What's the matter? Uh, there's a ghost. A ghost that haunts my every footstep. A ghost? What? Hello, you... Spiro. Jessica. What are you doing here? Elementary, my dear Watson. She's a ghost, and ghosts pester people. 
what can I say? I was the one who received the Count's telegram at the office still, so I just... Can't you steal our story, traitor? No, you're wrong. I was just waiting for you. But someone has to fix the locomotive if we want to get to Calamine, you know. The locomotive? It's all I could find around here. But I said to myself, a master mechanic could fix that. I'm sure of it. Master mechanic? I could have fixed this thing when I was in kindergarten. Good grief. The map making of that bygone era was none too precise. Fortunately, Archimedes, science has progressed greatly. My detector should surely detect an object that large. Now we'll let him lead us to those outlaws. There, that should do the trick. Well, are you getting aboard or waiting for the next train out? Now, now. A girl can be a star reporter and still look her best, you know. It works. Calamine, here we go. Bless my whiskers. I must make a note to invent a more efficient detector. Enough. I'll follow my instincts. Daha, I'll try here. You get in. The old blight has no lie about, and he's stubborn too. He's got the old wolf fever nasty. It'd make a mummy dance the foxtrot. Oh, Eureka! I think I've found it. If this isn't the most wonderful day of my life, may the heavens crash down on my head. I'm very worried about the Count, Jessica. He can take care of himself. This looks to me like a settling of accounts, brother. Right, brother. The Alpha Flights are white men mad, and they show their dead no respect. Now, now, now they're coming back in force. Right. This time, no fooling around. We have to warn the wise man, Kalu Long, and quick. There it is! Hey, wait! The rails! Look! End of the line! Stop! <laughs> It's the Aborigines that worry me. If they ever find out, relax. We took our precautions, and besides, the old geezer gave me an idea. A great idea. <laughs> the Aborigines are attacking! With what? A division of tanks? Well, go see what's happening. What are you waiting for? Now that's what I call making an entrance, huh? Wait, that hat. And that umbrella, I know them. They belong to the Count, but how on earth? Tell me, Knight, are you a friend of the Count's? And, uh, well, what's your specialty? Ragtime, bebop, or hip-hop, perhaps? More hot than hip, huh? Hey, it's not a place for a band, okay? Fantasio, the Count's been through here, I'm sure of it. He has? Then you mean to say he's... Yahoo! I've been through here, yes. That's exactly what I meant to say. What happened? Nothing. Hey, come look. Only the Count would bring a camel here. But where is he? Jessica, I don't like any of this one bit. Tsk, tsk, I'll handle this. Tell me, friend, would you mind leading us to your master? Featured him in my story, of course. Listen, Jessica, uh, just in case, you two follow the camel. Spiff and I will search the town, all right? <laughs> Looks like Kalu Long is sleeping, brother. Karapen <clears throat> <clears throat> oh! koalas. Who dares disturb the dream of Kalu Long? Trouble, Kalulong. White men have come back to loot our sacred caves, see? They stole the eye of Opalong. This is sacrilege. I'll try to call back the rock that saved us. May the force enter my spirit once more. Mm, yes. He's coming. I, I see him. I smell him. Oh, the white man has no respect.
The stolen sacred stone is hidden in a smelly spot. Mm. No! The count, he can't be! He just can't! But how and who buried him? Oh, how terrible, the poor count! You know, this could be the murder weapon! No, I'll believe it when I see it, not before! Hey, hear that? I hit something, but it isn't the count, that's for sure! Drat! They're gonna find the fool Sam won't be happy about that! It's fantastic, the stone statue, and it must be enormous! Biru is right. This is the only kind of treasure that would interest the Count. Which means the Count is still alive somewhere. Quick, back to Calamine to tell Spiru. Jessica, do you really think this is a time to worry about your makeup? They're coming! Help shopping, Yak! Help shopping, Yak! Yes, that's it. I, I found it. Oh, rock that says, Curb. The big. Good grief! What now? Phony. A bloke and a lady. It's getting crowded hereabouts. Oh. Huh? Sam, the, the conch is up there! What a remarkable experience! Still nothing. Absolutely inspirational! I don't believe it! The Count! What of it? You've never seen a bloke fly before? Just remember, mate, what goes up comes down. Oh dear, what a thought. Oh, it would seem he's right. What'd I tell you? What the hot hell? A fucking two-bucks cut. An adrenaline pump with a good song. Well, no harm is done. We'll just do the whole charming crew. Got it, Nasty? I'll do the geezer. You take care of the other two. My problem, boss. I assume they don't fly off. I protest. If you don't, well, oh dear, this is outrageous. Yeah, yeah, just keep quiet. Hey, did you see that? Where'd that truck come from? Oh, dear. Yeah, Sam. Mrs. Simon's completely out of control. It came from down that street. Come on. Let's check it out. Gotta leave a trail, one that's easy to spot. Well, Spiru, you don't have any choice. <coughs> no doubt about it, the truck came from there. Let's go in. Hmm. You never know. <coughs> Looks like something's going on around here. Sure, the cow couldn't have done that. I'll end up believing in ghosts yet. Ghosts don't eat jam, Fantasio. <laughs> no funny stuff now. Don't try and fly off, you understand? That's the first time anyone mistook me for an angel. <laughs> well, this is it, folks. For you, anyway. <laughs> Any farther, and I'd have run out of clothes to play hands with. Good grief. This cave is marvelous. All right, keep moving, Pops. This ain't a sightseeing tour. No, I'm sorry. Not another step. This cave is sacred. Only Aborigines have the right to enter. If the Count pushes his luck... Spiff? Spiff, what have you done? You erased my trail. Lapen wallabies. My dream has spoken, brothers. The rock that sings has returned. Yes, returned to the sacred cave. Well, rest in place, Pops. I've got to set up my little masquerade. Oh, I'm finished. Shh! Spiru! I knew those villains had to be speaking of you. Hello? Uh, he's coming back. I demand that you release me immediately. I don't know your intentions, but the Aborigines' powers are great, and their anger terrible. <laughs> That's just what I'm hoping. A spray can? Of paint? What does this mean? Soon the Aborigines will find their secret grotto robbed and trashed. Vandal! Correct. 
Only the vandal's gonna be you. He'll catch you red-handed, get it? And for good measure, I've thrown in this. A nitroglycerin cocktail. The teeniest, weediest shock. And baboon, see? Why, you're a madman. Sure I'm mad. Mad for apples, Pops. What? <laughs> what the? A walnut. Knew I should have brought more ammo. Trembling knees will be the end of us all. The night will go. There. Stubborn little pest. Now the gunshots will bring the locals running, so I better skedaddle quick. The Aborigines and the Nitro will do the rest. But oh, the Nitro, where is it? Be careful, Spirit. Hey, nice rodent give the bottle to Uncle Sammy, huh? No, no, easy, easy. Now, boy, huh? Uncle Sammy won't move an eyelash, all right? <laughs> Oh no! Oh! The trot! No! Oh, wait! It wasn't me! It was them in there! I, I was just coming to warn you! Huh? That's him! You let your sacred thingies finish him! What? You lying thief! Uh, what do you think, brother? That was some point we'll get to the bottom of this in no time! Good grief! <gasps> Living proof of the Aborigines' legendary powers of levitation. Why this sacrilege, strangers? Search the ancient one's right boot. <laughs> you dare to steal this from our sacred cave? Why? I know nothing of this opal, but I can show you something of great interest to all your people. Speak, ancient one. Kalulong will know the ring of truth if he hears it. At Kalamine, I discovered a sacred monument made by your ancestors. A monument which, according to the law here, will prove that Kalamine was built on your sacred tribal ground. Go on, ancient one. Your words in truth. This hmm, sinister individual learned of my find. That's why he tried to eliminate me and cast the blame on us. Because if Calamine were returned to you, he would have to give up his claim to the Aprovine. Well, I'm no expert, but there's a first time for everything. Oh, you almost got a bullseye. Hey, I did come close, didn't I? Now. Oh, 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 thing oh. the boomerang was just oh. slowing down. <laughs> Spiro, were you not struck by our extraordinary experience here? Oh, yes, indeed, Count. Struck is the word. <laughs> Sam should have been back ages ago. I'd be smart to clear out and never come back. You shouldn't have to tie the knot so tight. If you'd given me a choice, I'd have tied you in bows, Fantasio. I hate to interrupt this cozy scene, but your Australian adventure is coming to an end now, mates. Um, uh, what's your name again? Ooh, uh, uh, nasty. Uh, not that I'm always nasty. I knew it. Well then, Nasty, I have one request to ask of you. I'd like to look my best, you know. Is you my nose up? Oh, what the heck, why not? But no tricks. Or oh, nasty or really get nasty. Uh, uh. Oh, I don't believe this. I'm dreaming. Fantasio, you'll never understand women. There. I just don't want to look too pale. What do you think? <laughs> oh, right. Now what do I do, Fantasio? Oh, uh, well, there's always the frying pan. Brilliant. <laughs> Bushwhack the count, huh? You're down for the count. <laughs> All things considered, I'd rather be your friend than your enemy, Jessica. I hope the others are all right. <laughs> Kalu Longfellow Snake. Hmm? But I can't levitate in my sleep. Oh! Jessica, is everything all right? Everything's just fine. 
Jessica, would it be asking too much to untie me instead of lathering on more of that infernal lipstick? Incredible. No one wanted my story. And why? Because I didn't bring back any pictures. As if you can battle a bunch of crooks and take pictures all at the same time. Calm yourself, Fantasio. What matters is that Karu Long and his people have recovered their lands and their sacred monument. Thanks to you, my good friends. <laughs> the Count's right, Fantasio. That beats just about any scoop. Oh, I suppose so. But still, when you think of all this silly twaddle you see on TV. But the Opal Hunters weren't through yet. They made a desperate attempt to escape. And it was at that moment that I beheld the most astonishing, the most incredible sight I've ever seen in my life. The Aborigine Elder, thanks to powers long lost to the rest of us, can move mountains. As for the Opal Hunters, they're paying dearly for their numerous crimes. And that's all for now. <laughs> oh, come on, Fantasio. Cheer up. Be a good sport. Evening, Hello? all. I was just passing when I saw the light, and, uh, I thought I'd drop in. Hello, Fantasio. You traitor! Story stealer Benedict Arnold! Wonderful! Don't move, Fantasio! A cozy domestic scene with all my story was missing! Oh, haven't I shown you the total marvel of modern technology? Oh. Click its lipstick! That is the camera! But it's a shame I'm only using black and white. I'm not capturing that deep red you're turning. <laughs> <laughs>